You are destined to lose, X-Men! what I need.
isn't over. That's much too heavy. Right. All right. Yeah. Will do. Stay close. All right. Jean Grey. The game's over, X-Men!
Yes. Right. I will annihilate you! Combo! Assistance would be greatly appreciated. Stay close. I'm on it. You are destined to lose, X-Men. Stay close. Twits! Bloody hell! That's the third flippin' time this month!
Focus. Superheroes, you are, eh? The entire lot of you knocking on me. That's oddly fair. Oh, shit, I bleed now. I can't even give them to give me a lift. Sad news? I don't recall saying any such thing. You're hallucinating, you are. I swear on the grave of me Aunt Beatrice, I don't know nothing about no set news. Uh, no need getting rough on me. I was just having a little fun, I was. <laughs> okay, okay, look, Mystique wanted a location that was stored on the computers here. I don't know, honest. But now that they've got it, Mystique was saying the day of reckoning's coming soon. Not rightly sure what that means, but I bet you ain't gonna like it. Well, if I knew, he wouldn't be anonymous, now would he? Here now, I'd be far more likely to talk if you were to be nice to me. It's been two days now since I came to the Institute. I still haven't decided whether I want to stay or not. But Bobby Drake sure makes it seem awfully inviting. It was exciting hearing about the X-Men's adventures at the Hart facility in Alaska. Part of me wishes I could have gone with them. I guess I'm getting caught up in all this X-Men superhero business. Hello, Allison. You're looking most excellent today, but then you look most excellent every day. Can you tell me anything more about the X-Men's trip to the Hart facility? Yeah, I guess there was a lot of equipment at the facility that had nothing to do with studying the Aurora Borealis. So if they aren't studying the sky, what are they doing? Professor X thinks the government might be using it as a high-tech headquarters for storing sensitive information, stuff they don't want regular people to know about. You know, things like Area 51, The Man on the Grassy Knoll, old disco songs from the 70s. Who is that Toad guy they brought back? Toad? He's a member of the Brotherhood. 
the Brotherhood. Is he dangerous? Only to himself. The Brotherhood treats him like a court jester, always playing tricks on him. Why he puts up with all their abuse is beyond me. I heard someone say Toad mentioned Sentinels. What's a Sentinel? They're mutant hunting machines. But the government shut that program down years ago. I'm sure Toad's just talking smack. See you later, Bobby. See you later, beautiful. Hey, you're that new girl everyone's talking about. What's your name again? I'm Allison Crestmere. I got here just a few days ago. Right. Good to meet you, Allison. And you are? The name's Jubilation Lee, but everyone around here calls me Jubilee. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, I wanted to be called Rogue, but that code name was already taken. Really? <laughs> no, not really. Where are you from? I was born in Beverly Hills, California. Then my parents died, so I spent some time at a juvie hall in LA. But I had a lot of run-ins with the management, so I took off and lived in a Hollywood mall. That must have been terrible. Yeah, it was kind of a rough time. But the mall was cool. I mean, you know, I swiped whatever I needed. And I got real good at keeping two steps ahead of those lame-o security guards. Then the mall went and hired a bunch of mutant hunters to track me down. Luckily, Storm, Psylocke, Rogue, and Dazzler were shopping there that day. So you're a mutant? Nah, I'm the gardener. Oh, my mistake. You look like a student. <laughs> Jeez, Allison. You'll believe anything, won't you? Hey, I'm new here. I don't know anybody. Okay, okay. Cool your jets. I'm just playing with you. Of course I'm a mutant. What's your mutant power? I generate this really bright energy from my hands. It's great for temporarily blinding people. And what's even cooler is, I can make it explode. No way! Yep, I call them fireworks. So, what's your mutant power? I can make people's heads explode. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Oh, good one. Yeah, looks like you and me are gonna get along just fine. <laughs> I'll see you later, Jubilee. See you around, Allison.
Guten Tag, Fräulein Kreistmeer. Ha! A thousand pardons. I did not mean to scare you. Who are you? My name is Kurt Wagner, but normally I use the name Nightcrawler. That's a very cool name. Danke. That was my performing name when I was a famous acrobat known all over Germany. Perhaps you have heard of me. No, I can't say that I have. Pity. I do so love the spotlight. But perhaps what I loved the most was people's assumption that I was just a regular human dressed in a devil's costume. That trick of yours is pretty neat. How does it work? It is... teleportation. At first I could only teleport a few meters. But the more I practice, the farther I can transport. Wow. You can travel anywhere? Almost. I must be able to see the place I am teleporting to. Otherwise I might appear in a wall or tree, which would be most disagreeable. <laughs> Could you tell me about the Sentinels? Sentinels are pure evil in mechanized form. For a time, the government funded a program that built those mutant killing machines. How do Sentinels work? They are programmed to scan for mutant DNA and then kill any and all mutants. Their shielding and weapons were built to withstand all but the most powerful attacks. I have battled them before. But God protect me should I ever have to again. What's it like fighting a sentinel? Ah, oh, it is terrible. I remember one battle in particular. The X-Men were summoned to New York to help a friend in trouble. Bye, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen, Allison.
Who was that woman who tried to kidnap me in New York City? Her name is Raven Darkholm, but she currently calls herself Mystique. She's a very talented shapeshifter and can assume the form of anyone she sees. For all I know, right now, you could be Mystique in disguise. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure you're you. Is she in charge of the Brotherhood? She's really more of a second in command. But for the past few years, yeah, she's been in control. Why did Mystique come after me? Professor Xavier is convinced that Mystique and the Brotherhood are up to no good. The problem is, all we can do is wait until the Brotherhood tips their hand. But what use could I be to them? We don't know. But you must have been a very important piece of the plan for Mystique to attempt to kidnap you in broad daylight. Thanks for the info, Cyclops. Anytime, Allison. <laughs>